the Hebrew Bible, the five books of Moses, Genesis, chapter 17. And Abram was 99 years old, and the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am El Shaddai, walk in my presence and be blameless, and I will grant my covenant between me and you, and I will multiply you very greatly. And Abram flung himself on his face, and God spoke to him, saying, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be father to a multitude of nations, and no longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you father to a multitude of nations, and I will make you most abundantly fruitful and turn you into nations, and kings shall come forth from you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your seed after you, through their generations as an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your seed after you. And I will give you unto you and your seed after you the land in which you sojourn, the whole land of Canaan as an everlasting holding, and I will be their God. And God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my commandment, you and your seed after you through their generations. This is my covenant which you shall keep between me and you and your seed after you. Every male among you must be circumcised. You shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin and it shall be the sign of the covenant between me and you. Eight days, eight days old every male among you shall be circumcised through your generations. Even slaves born in the household and those purchased with silver from any foreigner who is not of your seed, those born in your household and those purchased with silver must be circumcised and my covenant in your flesh shall be an everlasting covenant. And a male with the foreskin who has not circumcised the flesh of his foreskin, that person shall be cut off from his folk. My covenant he has broken. And God said to Abraham, Sarai, your wife, shall no longer call her name Sarai, for Sarah is her name. And I will bless her, and I will also give you from her a son, and I will bless him, and she shall become nations. Kings of peoples shall I issue from her. And Abraham flung himself on his face, and he laughed, saying to himself, To a hundred year old will a child be born, will ninety Year old Sarah gave birth, and Abraham said to God, Would that Ishmael might live in your favor? And God said, Yet Sarah your wife is to bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his seed after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard you look, I will bless him and make him fruitful, and will multiply him most abundantly. Twelve chieftains he shall beget, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear you by the season next year. And he finished speaking with him, and God ascended from Abraham. And Abraham took Ishmael his son and all the slaves born in his household, and those purchased with silver every male among the people of Abraham's household. And he circumcised the flesh of their foreskin on that very day as God had spoken to him. And Abraham was ninety-nine years old when the flesh of his foreskin was circumcised. And Ishmael his son was thirteen years old when the flesh of his foreskin was circumcised. On that very day Abraham was circumcised. And Ishmael his son and all the men of his household, those born in the household and those purchased with silver from the foreigners were circumcised with him.